What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and it's been an interesting week. Obviously, like, post everybody's hot takes from Texas, we saw Ethan Klein get suspended from the platform for a week, and we got Joe Rogan's take on it Thursday, and it has upset all the usual suspects, including super huge mega brain Hassan Abi, multi-millionaire advocate for communism i mean socialism or whatever it is that's the most profitable this week and uh it's 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 just a chef's kiss to watch the same people react the exact same way that you would predict joe rogan obviously stating the obvious that um the whole grab we this is the same conversation every time we need more control and then and then common sense people are like why don't you get the criminals under control and then we'll talk about worrying about law-abiding citizens and then nothing changes obviously i agree that um you know i would be open to hearing some actually realistic ideas around uh, predicting you know these things ahead of time it does seem that at least in a couple of the cases that these individuals were known to law enforcement and things still happened which causes some people to believe it, you know, that they ignored them on purpose, which I understand why they feel that way. There's obviously no evidence of that. Um, you know, when you're me, I'm what looking at it like, bro, you guys knew about this person, they were on your radar and all this stuff happened. And, you know, you share some of the responsibility for that. So I'm, I'm open to some conversations around that. Uh, but Joe Rogan comes out and saying, obviously, uh, if you decide that you want to take, if you want to, you know, increase legislation on individuals' uh, abilities to protect themselves, then the only people that will have them will be criminals. And that's just obvious. Of course, this sounds like, brilliant take. I've never heard this before. And then, of course, immediately Ethan Klein gets in there. Great mind of our time. Great mind. Um, you know, again, the idea that you know, I get it. I have a lot of international viewers, okay? And and you may live in a country where the idea of everybody having these things is insanity to you and, and um, you know, your government controls it and, and, and that works for you. The reality is in the United States of America, we are built on our abilities to defend ourselves against a tyrannical government. Many of the freedoms that we have probably correlate with that particular amendment probably correlate with and you know early on in this country when uh you know certain laws they thought about passing certain laws or taking away certain freedoms when those people have the ability to you know have to push back against you you maybe think twice um i think that it's it's pointless to have both sides of the argument saying i'm willing to make zero concessions uh, because really nothing gets done and then the same people whine, oh, nothing happens, nothing gets done. Well, maybe don't start with, you know, let's go after law-abiding citizens. Um, you know, I'm, I'm actually for um, some level of, you know, if you're under a certain age and you're, you're applying for this type of thing, you know, maybe just a quick peek at their Facebook page and see if they're holding up a bag of, of cats like this kid was. Maybe just a little peeky deeky at that. Um, you know, I'm not necessarily against that. Um, you know, but this is not the conversation that people want to have. They want to have meltdowns. They want to unarm everybody. Uh, and anything less than that is just not enough. And, you know, you have the situation where Joe Rogan um, comes out and says, hey, uh, no, uh, you can't do it. So you see Joe Rogan branded a moron after claiming it's not wise to take things away from their owners. Controversial, again, this is via the independent, so, you know, recognize the source. Controversial podcaster uh, branded a moron. By who? By who? I mean, I don't think it's, I don't think it's particularly some kind of wild hot take uh, to think that this would be the case, right? I don't think that it's particularly crazy to think, hey, you know, everybody who's gone through the proper channels, right? You know, they have records of my purchases, for example. Um, you know, and they have records, and so they can come, 
try and take things. It's the people that don't purchase through verified channels uh, that, you know, really need some looking into. Uh, when, when you're talking about, you know, the, the, who are they going to, they're going to show up at my house. Whoopi Goldberg says they're going to show up at my house. I don't think that's going to work. I don't think that's going to work very, very good down in Kentucky, for example. Joe Rogan has been called out after wading into the debate on control after everything that happened. Of course, on Tuesday, we all know what happened. Um, you know, but speaking on the Joe Rogan experience, Rogan claimed he doesn't think it's wise to go after people who own things lawfully. No one knows um, really how to stop these, why, you know, these situations. And I agree that's true. You know, I, I don't think it's fair to argue that there aren't, there's literally nothing that can be done. But I would just like to hear some actual suggestions instead of this just nebulous, you know, nobody should own military great. No, 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 no. That's a non-starter. If you want to talk about practical things that could help predict, prevent, stop uh, these type of scenarios happening, I'm all ears. And if it's backed by science or data or, or even common sense, I think most people would agree with you. There are like 2A absolutists who won't, but I think most people would say like, hey, some sort of combination of, you know, watchdogging people who are under 20, you know, purchasing the stuff, um, you know, securing schools more, you know, you know, this kind of stuff. But like the, the thing is, you start talking about red flag laws and things of that nature. We know that that won't be used reasonably. So it has to be something that's transparent and extremely limited in scope, which <laughs> good luck, right? D getting the government to do something extremely limited in scope. Now, the 54-year-old was speaking with scientists like Friedman and asked him, how do you stop this type of stuff? No one knows how to stop it. What's the answer? Is the answer to take everyone's uh, pew pews? Well, they're not going to give up that stuff. Only criminals are going to have them. It's not going to be a good situation, he added, before claiming he was not. it was not a good idea to take them away from people and give all the power to the government. I agree. This country has a mental health problem disguised as a pew pew problem. I also agree. That doesn't mean we can't do nothing, but it means that we need to be specific, extremely limited in scope, and transparent. And it's a natural inclination when you're a person in power to try to hold more power and acquire more, po more power. Of course, the, re the episode received mixed reactions from fans and commentators, some calling him an absolute moron for making the illogical arguments. Um, but it's not illogical, it's 100% logical. Philly Magazine journalist Ernest Owens wrote, Joe Rogan makes millions of dollars going in the wrong direction on Common Sense Daily. Imagine purposely choosing to make illogical arguments that will continue to endanger the lives of innocent kids. Oh, yeah, think of the kids. Stand right on them. They're not buried yet, so make sure you can stand on them and grab after what it is that you want. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. Uh, what he's saying is 100% true. Uh, but, you know, ultimately, it's the scope that your government is in, you know, in the United States, you're never going to remove these things from this country. It is literally part of our very ta uh, tapestry. Tapestry? That's not the right word. It's, a, it's like woven into our, ourselves. There's just no removing them. So let's stop that. Okay, let's stop that. If you remove everybody saying, you know, oh, individual citizens should also have nukes like Tim, and you remove everyone who says we need to remove everything from the conversation, then maybe we can get something done. I don't think that there's a, a reasonable person out there that in like in their heart of hearts is going to tell you privately, like to your face, that like this is just something we have to deal with. I don't believe that. I believe that there are things that can be done to help minimize this. You start putting, you know, making these soft targets a little bit harder. You have a couple of these clowns get turned into Swiss cheese while they're standing in the parking lot, never getting into the building. That's going to deter it. You start, uh, you know, getting news, the news to, to not cover these individuals and not make them famous. You start, there's a lot of little things that you can do to help discourage this. Um, are you ever going to completely stop it? No. But could you, I mean, the idea, you know, in this country right now where they're happening every freaking two weeks like that's unacceptable 
So, you know, I, I think that there are real things that we can do if you get the lunatics out of the conversation. And you have Bo Burnham, the, the, the media loving Bo Burnham for mocks, for mocking Joe Rogan's inside outtakes. I don't really, I'm unfamiliar with Bo Burnham. Maybe he's funny. I don't know. Obviously, making fun of Joe Rogan is not off off uh, the table. Um, but, you know, there's about 20 articles written about this now. Like, there's this, and then here's, uh, you know, uh, you know, Daily Beast. Exactly one year after he took the comedy world by surprise with his genre-bending Netflix special Inside, he treated fans to another flower material from the project, dropping Inside Outtakes on his YouTube channel Monday night. Um... As the elusive comedian announced on Twitter a year ago today, I released a special called Inside. I spent two months editing it together. Material that I filmed that didn't end up using, but I will be on my YouTube channel in an hour. Hope you enjoy it. Um, I don't know what's going on here. He stopped. He disallowed people from um, streaming it on their websites. Okay, I guess. Um, whatever. It seems like. I would probably want to do that. You want to keep people watching them, you know, watching your, your videos on your own channel. Um, the new hour has already been devoured by Burnham's loyal devotees, racking up millions of views, over a million views in 24 hours. And while it's mostly made up of even more insightful and hilarious meta comedy that serves as a time capsule for what it was like to live isolated and online, um, most of the world attempted to move on from the lockdowns. So there's at least one segment that feels relevant in 2022. Uh, it comes about 18 and a half minutes when Burnham presents a clip from Bo Burnham inside the podcast. Uh, the split screen chat with himself is an obvious takedown of the podcast superstar Joe Rogan, whose Spotify controversy came to head after Inside's 2021 release. We are two comedians who are talking stuff, no filter, not giving an F what anyone thinks, and not apologizing for it. Burnham says on the left side of the screen, his mirror image agrees with every utterance of, on the right. The two Burnhams sound off on PC culture. SJW feminists and anti-comedy, anti-joke. Um, you know, I get it. Uh, you know, it abruptly ends when Burnham casually mentions a conversation with his sparring partner, yet another Rogan reference. I mean, sure, you can make fun of Rogan. Um, the media, you know, just absolutely loving anybody willing to, uh, you know, go after him is pretty transparent. But, you know, Joe Rogan knows. He says, Fox News and the right had my back against the far left attacks. They did. Remember when the when the left was the anti-censorship group? Pepperidge Farm remembers. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.